What is up my friends? It is Andrew here from Apple Insider and I'm going to walk you through everything new coming to CarPlay as part of iOS 15 in the fall of 2021. Let's go ahead and dive into things. First up are improvements to car keys. Previously, Apple did announce a feature where you could use your iPhone to unlock your vehicle, but Apple's making some big improvements this year, notably support for ultra wideband chipsets for unlocking and controlling your car. So whether you have an Apple Watch or you have an iPhone that supports ultra wideband using Apple's U1 chip, you will be able to unlock your car, start and stop your car, and thanks to U1 and its precision finding abilities, you will never lock your phone in your car and you will never be able to start your car without your phone inside of it. Both big important details when you are using your phone as a literal key to your car. By the way, that will of course require some manufacturer support on the you know car side. Apple has announced a few different companies that are going to be introducing cars with that feature, but it may take a little longer for your Chevys and Fords and everything else to start rolling out with that feature standard. If we jump into the car and check out the interface, everything looks pretty familiar. If we go into settings though, we can start to see a few of the changes that have come about, notably this new driving focus. So driving focus is a new part from Apple just called focus. Focus has a bunch of different things, including in the car as well as outside of the car. So Apple used to have do not disturb while driving, but with iOS 15, Apple's replaced all the do not disturb stuff with something called focus. Now there are several different focus modes already set up for you. There's sleep, there is personal, there is work, and there's just straight up do not disturb. And of course there is also driving. So you saw the toggle in the car where you can enable that manually or automatically whenever it pops into CarPlay, but you can also add more customizations over on the iPhone side of things. For example, what notifications do you want to allow through? Who do you want those people, who, which people do you want to be able to contact you? In my case, I might want to allow my wife to come in or my parents, anything like that. And for apps, I may want to allow certain apps as well. Maybe I want to allow Slack messages to come through uh, or security alerts for the house. So there's certain alerts that I may still want to come through even though I am driving. So you can choose what people and apps can reach you while in do not disturb while driving mode. There's also time sensitive notifications to allow people and apps to notify you immediately even when you have focus turned on. And then you can share that focus status. So while you are driving, someone else will be able to see your status and they know that you have do not disturb while driving essentially turned on and you're in the vehicle. Uh, so you're not necessarily going to respond right away. So you can share that notification. And then of course you have how this works, whether it's automatically when connected to cars Bluetooth, so you have like a Bluetooth radio in there, or manually. There's also that toggle that we saw in the CarPlay interface for activating with CarPlay. Outside of driving focus, we have four new wallpapers to check out. I can try to kind of run them through for you here, but each of these four new wallpapers, they mimic the wallpapers that we saw over on iOS and iPadOS. So there are four new ones combined with the old ones that we saw before. Uh, each of these has a dark mode and a light mode. So we can go through all the light mode ones and we'll show you all the dark mode ones here. It gives you a little bit of an idea. Now this mode can automatically change for you. That part's not new. It could automatically change between the light mode during the day and dark mode at night. So it's never too harsh on your eyes or you can just leave it in dark mode permanently for anyone who really likes that dark interface even during the day. But that is it, those are the four new wallpapers, each with a light mode and a dark mode option. If we look at maps, not a lot looks different here, but I'm telling you there's some big changes coming, especially if you live in some larger cities. Cities like San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York, and London will have new details, including elevation, roads, trees, buildings, landmarks, and more. Just a ridiculous amount of detail added to these cities. Unfortunately, it's not all cities straight away. It's a tremendous amount of work. So Apple is starting with some of the biggest cities around the globe before bringing it to other cities. Um, so these are the ones that are launching this year and there's gonna be more coming next year and just all the time Apple will be adding more. But the demos that Apple showed off at DubDub just look incredible. Uh, and Apple says this is coming later this year. So this likely won't be in the initial release of iOS 15, but will hopefully be coming by the end of 2021. Finally, if you are familiar with AirPods, AirPods Max, AirPods Pro, AirPods, Apple has a feature called Announce Messages with Siri. That feature is now being brought to CarPlay. So when you are in your vehicle, CarPlay can read your messages to you. It'll announce 
when a message comes in, read it to you and allow you to respond. So very similar to how Apple does it with headphones in its own AirPods line, and now it does it in your car. So you don't have to look at anything. You don't have to see a message come in and then tap it. It'll just automatically announce and read that message to you while you are driving in the car. Of course, you can turn that off or on, just it's up to your preference, but that too will be coming later in 2021, not necessarily with the initial release of iOS 15. But that is it. I think those are some nice changes coming to CarPlay this year. I'm very excited about them, particularly car key. I think I'm, I'm so excited about, but I know it's gonna be many years before I'll probably have a vehicle that will support it. But for those who are lucky enough to use it, uh, I am just infinitely jealous of you. Let me know what you think of these CarPlay changes over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and stay tuned. We got a lot more video content coming your way.